The first rocket I launched was the Estes Wizard on an A83. And the rocket flew great, at least I think it did, but the reason I don't know that it did was because when I launched it, I was recording it with my phone and when you try to record the Estes Wizard on your phone when there's cloud cover sometimes you you don't see the Estes Wizard when it after it launches so the rocket went up and then I lost sight of it and as you can see looking at this field trying to find an Estes Wizard in this field when you didn't see it come down is a little bit of a chore so the way I tackled finding the rocket comes from a little bit of experience by that I mean I didn't actually look for the rocket at first. I decided to go ahead and start launching my other rockets because given that I had no idea where it landed, I didn't even know which direction to look. And oftentimes, if you lose a rocket in the field, the best thing to do is to uh, launch other rockets and then see where the other rockets land because more likely than not, your rocket landed where the other rockets landed because the wind generally blows the same direction and you're launching your rockets to um, roughly the same altitude. I actually had a Estes High Flyer that I was about to fly as a last resort because very similar to the Estes Wizard and see where it landed to help me find the wizard. But at the end of the day, um, I fortunately did find the wizard. I just had to look in a little bit of a different spot and it wasn't, it wasn't too far away. All right, my next flight was the Estes Nike X on a B-62. And this is a very low altitude flight and came down on a streamer, which is the way I normally fly this rocket. And 
my, my goal with launching it was to just kind of test the winds and see where, you know, where they were going. And all in all, it was a good flight. Didn't do anything uh, too crazy and it's ready to go again. Next up was the Estes Citation Patriot, which I flew on a C-63. And as I say every time I launch this rocket, the C-63 is not really enough power for it. Or, I mean, it is, it flies, but it's just very slow every time. Now, I do want to note here that Estes does have another motor out called the C-53, which is um, supposed to have a little bit higher thrust out the pad. I don't have any C-53s, or I would have flown it on a C-53, but Maybe I'll get some C-53s to see if I can compare it with the launch on the C-63 and note if it does take off a little bit more quickly. I'd actually prefer that because it really is pretty slow on the C-63. Next up was the Estes Olympus on a D16-4 Q-Jet, and it flew perfectly. The Olympus always flies perfectly. You can't go wrong with it. I've flown my Olympus uh, multiple times now. I've done it on D12-3 a couple times. I've also done it on an F12, and today it flew on a D16 Q-Jet, which was kind of cool because uh, I was able to do um, a black smoke propellant and still not have the rocket go too high because the, uh, the D16 dash 4 Q jet is a relatively short burn for um, a motor with black smoke. Just to elaborate a little bit further on that, um, Aerotech has two different black smoke propellants that I know about. They have the Black Jack and the Black Max, and the Black Jack is the slower one, which was the F12 propellant that I flew the Olympus in last time, and today's flight was on the D16 dash 4, which was a Black Max propellant, and the Black Max is it's quite a bit faster than the blackjack propellant. So that's, that's where I was going with the previous discussion. So my last flight of the day was the Estes Cherokee E on a C63, and you're supposed to launch this rocket on an E motor. I launched it on a C motor, but did you see how close it landed to the pad? That's why I flew it like that, because when I launched that rocket, the Estes Wizard was still laying out in the field somewhere, and I just was had a desire to not have to go hunt and search for another rocket that went really far away. So I went ahead and flew it on the C-63. I figured if I can launch the Patriot on a C-63, then I would be able to get away with launching the Cherokee E on a C-63, which I did. And it turned out to be a beautiful flight. I'll probably do it again. I'd like to fly it on a C or D Q jet as well in the future. And if I get out to a bigger field, um, I'd like to fly on an E-11 Blackjack, but that's all stuff to look forward to in the future.